I'm Dr. Sunil Kutado, Head of Neurosurgery at Ramaya Memorial Hospitals. There are a lot of myths which surround brain tumors and I'd like to bust all these myths as much as I can today. The first myth is that tumors do not affect, brain tumors do not affect children. Actually, there is an incidence of about one per one lakh child to have a brain tumor. And these tumors in children can be very aggressive if not diagnosed early. The second myth is that there is an equal incidence of brain tumors both in the male and the female population. If one looks at the incidence, there is an incidence of about five to six people having brain tumors per one lakh population. These tumors are benign tumors. These are not so aggressive brain tumors. Whereas there is an incidence of two to three per one lakh population to have more aggressive brain tumors. And there is a slight female preponderance of having these brain tumors. As I said earlier, there is another myth surrounding that all brain tumors are the same. That is not true. About 60% of all brain tumors are low grade or benign as we call them and they can be treated effectively. Around 30 to 35% of tumors are more aggressive and are considered malignant brain tumors. To, to add further, the most common brain tumor that we see is not the one which comes or grows from within the brain but they are called metastatic tumors. These tumors migrate to the brain through the blood and grow within the brain. The fourth myth is that it is very difficult to identify these brain tumors because they present very late. Many individuals present with symptoms like increasing headache which is not treated or not controlled by over-the-counter medications, present with early morning headache and vomiting. Some individuals may have difficulty in speech, may have difficulty in walking, weakness in the arms or legs. Very few individuals have also noticed to have change in personality and social behavior. So if one has these symptoms which are not being treated adequately or not relieved, then they should take the help of a neurological examination conducted by a neurologist or a neurosurgeon as soon as possible. The fifth myth is that brain tumors uh, are related to the use of mobile phones or they are related to diet or habits. That again is not true. There are various studies which have been conducted like the Interphone study and the Cosmos study which says that there is no direct correlation with the use of mobile phone or other gadgets. Uh, of course, they release a lot of radio frequency uh, waves, but they more co cause more of heat rather than cause brain tumors. So that is one myth. Again, uh, the outcome of one brain tumors is not the same. There are nearly 120 types of brain tumors and not all of them are cancers. As I said earlier, 60% of them are low grade or benign and can be treated adequately if diagnosed early both with an examination by CT scan or MRI and appropriate surgeries. Of course there are some tumors which are cancerous. They are, occur about in about 30 to 35 percent of individuals. These tumors are aggressive. There are a lot of studies, a lot of uh, tests, research which is undergoing even at Ramaya Memorial Hospital. We are engaged with uh, premier institutes like IISC and IIT to try and identify new treatment modalities. Probably the outcome of these studies will help worldwide develop new treatment modalities to the aggressive brain tumors, which is again forms a very low part of all the brain tumors. Thank you.